Hi everybody, welcome back to Winning with SketchUp. In today's episode, I want to take a quick look at a plugin that is a part of the Quad Face Tools. So it's a tool, I should say, that's a part of the Quad Face Tools. And if we go into Tools drop down, go to Quad Face Tools, we can see it's the Offset Loop Tool is the one I want to take a look at. And it's only available here through the Tools menu for some reason. Um, if you set your preferences here for the contextual menu and we go to quad face tools um, it's not showing up here I'm not sure if that's an issue and if it is I'm sure Thomas will see this and take care of that so um, it's also pretty sure a new addition to quad face tools and don't remember seeing it before but it's possible that I just missed that um, I also don't see it anywhere in the toolbar there's no icon for it um, if there's a way that I'm missing something, somebody wanted to let me know, um, please do. So what I did with this um, to make it a little more work for workflow friendly was assign it to a keyboard shortcut. So you can go in through your preferences menu through your shortcuts and assign there the offset loop uh, to a keyboard shortcut. And it's the only real way that this would be feasible. And what this allows me to do is call this very quickly and I can call this here and if we don't have anything selected when we call it um, it will allow us to hover select edge loops which is kind of makes this tool a little more powerful than just what it does with the offsets so if you do have something selected and you call it um, it's going to kind of maintain that selection there but if you hit escape then it kind of releases that and now you can go through and hover select edge loops. Now what the offset loop tool does is it moves offsets of edge loops and places them on the um, connecting faces here. So we can see that it just moved an offset of that down but it constrained it here to these connecting edges. And we could do the same here in the center. Pull that down. You can see we have one there. We can do it here on these vertical edges as well and a little bit of an issue here sometimes that it doesn't want to work in situations where we have a um, very flat edge like that and I'm just going to see here I might be able to even delete that and I'm just going to rebuild the triangulation sometimes that works and just tap control here and still not getting anything there so um, for some reason there's some issues sometimes with um, certain faces but as uh, your mesh gets a little more dense it tends to sort those problems out and um, kind of go away I don't have those problems as much so you can see here yeah, it didn't create one there over here it created one here but it didn't create one here um, so if we split this though uh, we can drop them there you can also notice what's happening with the triangulation here uh, just like all the quad face tools that it's automatically fixing that um, which is what this is all about being named quad face tools and now if we get in you can see we've kind of made the mesh a little more dense should have a little more success here adding these edge loops or offset loops and we could tap control here and add them in both directions you can see that's working now that we have more than two that it's working on for some reason it uh, gets a little confused there when it's only working on um, in the middle there so uh, as we had it here we just have these two opposing faces and that's where it kind of starts to fail for some reason but um, so let's add some here again and the other nice thing about this is, um, you know, this is pretty cut and dry what it's doing here. It's just, again, we're just adding those edge loops. Uh, you just want to be mindful that this, this isn't inserting loops like the insert loop tool. It's offsetting edge loops. So if we look at an edge loop like this and we pull that across and we kind of watch what happens is it's following the flow of that edge. So the angle of those edge edges are being um, the new edge loop is inheriting those as opposed to the edge loop we would select this and run that 
we can see that that's just going straight up and down and connecting midpoint to midpoint all the way up there. So just be mindful of that. Now the other really nice thing about this tool is that because it does a hover select, we can kind of use it in our quad modeling workflow. And I find it really helpful that I can toggle between an edge loop and quad face tools. So I can grab, um, not even click, just hover. So I'm just hovering over an edge loop here, use my keyboard shortcut for quad face tools, and I've called that and we've selected the edge loop of vertices all the way around without selecting anything, without having to go up and select a loop. And now we can get in here and manipulate those and scale things, move those around as needed. And we can do the same here. We can call that. And again, if something's selected, tap control just hover over that and now we can call vertex tools make planar if we wanted go back there again tap control grab um, don't have to select it we just hover over it and now we could again use any of the vertex tools option do this one more time escape hover call that and kind of doing a make planar operation there so we can also use this in combination with the remove edge loops or the insert loops. Um, works really good with the remove loops tool. So I'm going to call the offset loop tool, hit escape here, so I'm hover selecting. I can go in now with my keyboard shortcut. You need to use this with keyboard shortcuts, uh, but I can remove these edge loops here and just use my, oops, that was insert, and use this to remove. You can see I can remove edge loops here got us all the way back down to there very quickly and just kind of um, optimized our mesh if if there were um, edges that we could take away we could do that very quickly using just hover and remove at the same time so there's a little trick um, that really could come in handy we can hover and add as well but again it's going to add it to the whole loop so we're going to add a edge loop there an edge loop there an edge loop there and I'll go ahead and do that we'll see that it added them all the way around there center to center um, so adding them um, unless you really wanted to subdivide your mesh and you could do that here let's see how quickly we could get in and add a bunch of subdivisions here if you wanted to do that as well. Um, the other thing you can do with this is call your crease tool if you have that set up and you can even do that while you're in sub D. So we're in sub D here. Um, I can hover, call our offset loop tool, hover over one of these edge loops here. Just tap control if you have to and then call the crease tool and do that and then go back to the offset loop tool again I'm just hovering not clicking and I can call the crease tool there so one other thing real quick I just wanted to show is the ability to add grooves really quickly um, you can do that here with the offset loop tool I'm going to call that and let's kind of add a groove here in the middle of these faces so I'm just gonna come up here and yeah we can let's just add an edge loop first and then call that now it's offset on either side of the edge loop with the offset loop tool, tapping control to make it go on either side. And just drop that in there. And now we can hover select. And let's just add another one here. And we can add two more. Now let's hover select the center, call vertex tools, and let's hold shift and scale that in. We could also get in here and grab that and tap control, bring that out, and then hover select over the center and remove that edge loop. And uh, for some reason I broke it there, but let's make sure I have the right one. And it might just be a little bit too small in there for that, but let's run sub D. We can see we've we've added a crease there and we have those support edges on either side 
uh, we could get in there and delete those and remove those if we wanted. And now if we run sub D, we can see that the crease is a little bit bigger or the groove there. Um, and now we could get in here, hover select over that and crease that and turn that up there. Do the same thing with the top one. So you can see there's just some options there to um, play with that, with creasing, with inserting, removing edge loops, with calling vertex tools. Um, it just allows us to kind of hover and be able to call another tool and have that be selected. We could even use that with something like Frito Scale. Um, if we wanted to hover select and call Frito Scale, we could do that and scale those edges. And jump right over into Vertex Tools, scale that, add an inset there, like that, and jump back over. And we could add some loops there, and get rid of the center if we wanted. So you can see how that would really, really speed up the workflow if you get those keyboard shortcuts down. Um, things are really come in comes in handy for adding and removing um, very quickly and easily. So let's go through here, get rid of some of these that we don't need. And those are doing nothing overall. And funky looking shape here, but um, get the idea of the benefit of that. So hope that was helpful. Hope everybody has a great day and a great week, and we will see you in the next video.